hello everybody um, here I am gonna make a video of um, fixing the p1 no yeah p1b 77 code on the 2013 Honda Sonata hybrid um, which you get um, first um, symptom is when you're driving on the street um, your car is gonna ask you to pull over safely and do not turn off do not turn on vehicle or pull over safely and safely and turn off vehicle to prevent heavy battery damage. Can't remember exactly what it says, but it's something like that. And if you have had it, you know what I'm talking about. After you pulled over uh, safely, safety, safely, <laughs> you will not be able to turn on your car. You're gonna have to tow it, and hopefully home, not to the dealership. You will not get this ready uh, sign on the dash when you turn the car on. My car is running right now. I just fixed it, fixed it, and um, this is what I'm making this video. When you get this uh, trouble code on this car, and you won't be able to start it. The problem is, you're you're gonna have to replace your power relay assembly right here. That is this one right here, and when it's mounted, it's gonna look like this. And have uh, one bolt, now one nut, two nut, three nuts. 10 millimeter nuts you're gonna have these two cables here which hold held down by 10 millimeter nuts they come from the hybrid battery you're gonna have two more 10 millimeter nuts here those cables go from the battery all the way to the front to the engine uh, to the engine compartment I believe they are attached to the HSG hybrid starter generator on the motor attached to the motor um, when you replace this um bra pre power relay assembly you're gonna want to replace this safe safety connector which is this one right here i already did um when you're working with this you're gonna want to disconnect your uh 12 volt auxiliary battery uh just to work safely right you don't want to have to have any current uh you're gonna right after you disconnect the 12 volts battery you're gonna disconnect the safety connector once you disconnect the safety connector, you can buy electrician's gloves to protect you to get in shock. This is 270 volts, so this is more current than you get at your house. I have this tool right here. Uh, it's client tools. And it will read anything from uh, 50 to 1000 volts. So this is on. When you touch a cable with this, if there is current, it's going to go red. You don't want to touch that cable. You know you're doing something wrong with that. And you'll die. So now I'm turning it off. Um, to have access to this, you need to take the panels that cover uh, the trunk. So are these right here and right there. Um, all of them are 10 millimeter volts. Uh, 10 millimeter uh, nuts and bolts and bolts. Here's my seat. There's the other seat. It's a little disorganized, but it got done. You're gonna have to take your seats. Um, for taking your seats, you're gonna take your the seat first and your backrest uh, second. When you take that out, you're gonna have a cover, which is this one. This one goes right here like that. Uh, that is held down by screws. Uh, there are cross head screws. Um, pretty pretty simple. It's about six of them. After you take that out, there's a cover right here. This cover will go right here. Let's see, like so. For this cover, you're gonna need uh, 10 millimeter sockets and a T30 uh, hex uh, Torx, like so, like this one. Um, that's pretty much it guys uh, there's um, another three bolts I believe on the back of this and another metal cover uh, that should be on the trunk didn't show you that but once you replace these two the power relay assembly and the safety connector you're gonna have to go ahead and turn on your car and it will go on uh, like mine I will put more details if I think about it in my whole diagnose procedure procedure on the video description um, just under the video just look out for that uh, any comments um, just hit me up guys I'm here to help you out and uh, have a nice day